Hi, it's Rob from the Brush and Balcom. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to paint a Lamentus chapter badge. So when you paint the chapter badge, the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you've got a pretty decent white surface to be painting on. Once you've got the pauldron done white, you can then start working on putting on the checkers. Now the actual shoulder pad itself, when you look in the Bad Ab Wars book, they have around, I think, 10 or 11 squares. I think it's 11 squares on the bottom row of the checks. I only do nine on it just because otherwise they're getting that small that they're incredibly hard to paint on and also the I don't think they look as good as when they're slightly bigger so started with nine so initially you saw me draw on the first stripes going up to the top there the first lines going up to the top so you want them to join up almost at the very center of the top on the first lines and then you want to divide each section to either side into four so that you have nine columns going up now the columns will get smaller as they go up to the top of the shoulder pad but as long as you have the nine going up and one central one, that's the main thing that you want to go for. So now I'm adding on the horizontal lines. This is just a normal HB pencil as well. So you can paint over it once it's done, or if you, you can really gently rub it off. Um, but I usually paint over it just because sometimes you can't take the paint off with the eraser. So you want to get seven rows of checks down the shoulder pad. So here I've done the top two and the bottom one because this is where the circle in the middle joins up with the circle rests on the top of the bottom row of checks and it joins up with the underside of the sixth row so the top row is going to be just a few little triangles the row below that is going to be slightly bigger but you'll have i think all of them in and below the sixth row you're going to have the underside of the circle which joins onto the top of the bottom row and once you've done that you can then fill in the lines like i'm doing here just making sure I've got the right number of rows of checks and that's your outlines done. Now comes the fun part, we're going to use Vallejo Black and we're going to start filling in those checks. Now one of the main things to do is try and always drag the brush away from the point and use a decent pointed brush to do this so that you can get the corners nice and crisp. Now when you're doing the initial checks on this you doesn't matter too much if you go over the edges of the lines or anything like that because what you'll find is when you've drawn them on you start filling them with paint and they'll be slightly offset to one side or some will be slightly sloped when you paint them in so this is mainly just to get the color onto the checks and then once you've got them all down you can then use the white to shape them a little bit better and once you've used the white you can come back with the black again and just finish them off and get them spot on for you Out of all the chapter badges, I think this is probably one of those biggest pains to do just because of those checks and it does take a long, long time to do it. And sadly, I've got a huge number of lamentas I need to paint, so that's going to be a huge number of checks to do in the future. To make matters worse, Citadel no longer do the Avalon Sunset Spray, I don't think. Which means that I'm having to spray with an Army Painter 1 demon yellow I think it's called which is way too bright and then brush paint the Avalon sunset over the top now there's not many people that have had to do that for just a storm raven and a few little bits and pieces on a repulsor but any more for that and it's going to have to be the way so you can see the checks here they're coming along you can see some of them join up a bit too much some of them don't join up enough but this is because this is basically just to get the colour onto them so that you know what you're working with and you know where your outlines are and then once you've got them on you can look at it see what needs to be tweaked and then tweak it accordingly so now we're going to be drawing on the circle now what i'm doing here i was using the brush awkwardly there you can see that that hasn't given a very good curve so that's pushing the brush away from the nib and then what i'm doing here is i turn the shoulder pad around and you're dragging the brush away from the very point and you'll see that the curve is a lot smoother and a lot rounder so that's the way to do that if you find yourself struggling to get a proper curve try and reposition the brush so you're dragging it away and you'll be able to get that curve really really nice still not 100 percent perfect but it's better than it was doesn't matter too much if you don't do the circle 100 percent round the main thing is to get the color on there and get the outlines on there because when we come back we're going to do white, then we're going to do black again and that'll just finish them off and get them looking nice.
You can also see here that some parts are bigger than others where they probably shouldn't be. But again, that comes down to when we're doing the white again at the moment and doing the next layer of black, we'll then tweak them to make them roughly the right size. It's just a matter of planning them out roughly, paint them on roughly, and then starting to tweak them and get them into the right position. So we're going to skip to the end of this bit, and then we're going to come back and start working with the white. So that's the rough outline of the checkers and the outline of the circle done. Now we're going to move on to using a little bit of Vallejo white. We're going to start filling in these sections and getting the colour and the squares and the circle into the position that we want it to. Also the white will go over the pencil and get rid of the pencil. So that's the added bonus of painting on the white again once you've finished. Now here you can see that I've made that circle slightly wonky, but again we're going to come back with the black. This is mainly just to get the white colour on and try and reshape it to roughly the right shape. You can then come back, add the black line and get it smoother. And the same for all the squares as well. When it comes to the squares we are going to be going onto them, filling them in, getting them as square as you can, trimming them down or making them wider or smaller depending on what's needed. I think the day they make Lamenta's decals is the day that I learn how to use decals because it's going to be so much easier than painting these on. But I've seen a lot of armies with these on so it can be done. And also there's such a great chapter. So we're just going to speed along here. Get this bit out of the way. I'm just going to square off those bits with a bit of black there and square off these bits and now we're working on a little bit of white on those checks and just filling them out going over the pencil and also straightening up any of the little lines that may be slightly out of place or out of shape. Sometimes you'll end up with like a line that should be straight it's got a slight kink in it or a little nodule sticking out and this is the section where you can just trim those out, get everything looking square and if you tri trim it too much and you mean you've got too much white on there we're going to come back with the black and just touch them up again, so that doesn't matter too much. But you can see here the difference that's making to the checks in terms of the colour and the shape. So now that we've got that on, we're going to return to the black and we'll get once more we're going to just touch up all the areas that need touching up. Straighten off any of the edges fill in any little corners that might need filling in or any little bits that haven't been completely coated with the black in previous layer. And once you've got all them touched up, we can move on to the next section. So I'm going to use a bit of my fist on red and we're going to start doing the heart. Now we start with drawing a line down the centre. The heart is central to this circle, so we're going to draw a line down the centre which is going to be the line that joins the bottom of the heart to the little kink at the very top of the heart. And then again with the curves when you're painting these on you want to make sure that you're holding the figure in a way that allows you to do that curve properly. Here you can see that I'm doing it the wrong way again. I'm kind of pushing that round and you can see that it has made the curve on the right a lot different shape to the one on the left. So that if you are doing it the proper way where you turn it and you're dragging the brush you'll have the curves pretty much the same on each side. So as well as showing you how to do it, this is also a tutorial on how not to do it. If you do it the wrong way, like I did on the right hand side of the heart there, the easiest thing you can do is just carry on painting it, then once you've finished you can slightly reshape that, which is what we'll be doing with some white shortly, and reshape the edge of that heart. Now 
now using the white just to trim off the edge if you trim it off too much it doesn't matter because we can still come back with the red and just tweak that so you can see you've turned it round I've got a little bit of red on the brush and I'm just going to paint that the proper way dragging it away from the point again get that line as straight as you can and to the width that it is on the other side and then you're just going to join onto that curve like so I'm going to work on the small blood drop next to it this is just offset to the left hand side and down a little bit and again it's just going to be a straight line down or because it's quite small you can do it at a slight angle and then try and get the teardrop shape that way the bigger teardrops it's easy to do the vertical first then do two lines making it almost like a triangle but you can do it this way where you're doing the triangular sections and then just doing the curve at the bottom and once you've got the rough shape on again you're just tweaking it with a little bit of a fist on red just to bring in that proper drip shape like so and I'll just fill in the colour here and straightening off any edges smoothing out the red You'll see me keep looking at it like that on the camera, I do this in quite a lot of videos, and when I'm looking at that, I'm just looking at how the actual thing looks overall to see if there's any glaringly obvious bits that are wonky on one side or need tweaking or any lines that aren't straight, because you will notice them a lot more when you just look at the whole thing and take it in and you'll see where the discrepancies are. Okay, so we've got pretty much the chapter badge done here. However, we are going to use a little tiny bit of black to tweak some of these edges because looking at it straight on there, I notice that there's a few bits that are slightly off and not quite central to how it should be, so that when you're looking at it, it doesn't look as symmetrical as it could do. So here I'm just using a little bit of white to touch up the inside of the circle in the middle there. And this is basically going to be a jump between the white and the black as I try and get it to look 100% like I'd like it. And now this is just straighten up a few edges and a few little touch-ups just to get it how I want it. I did a little spot of white there. You can see you've gone back over that and got rid of it because you don't really need it in there. It just makes it look slightly out of place and make it look like a little bit of paint has been missed. And because that line is slightly wonky, we're just going to straighten that off. Again, this all comes from looking at it straight on. You can see where the checks aren't square. And how they don't line up properly. And if you notice that it doesn't line up properly, it's so easy to fix it. Just use a really fine point brush. This is a Citadel medium layer brush, like a normal brand new one, so it has got a good point on it. And you can just touch that up and get that looking right. like so. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also think about subscribing to some of our other social media link below. Thanks very much.